Organizations have called on the federal government and the National Assembly to protect Nigerians from the danger of consuming genetically modified foods, GMF. The CSOs made this call at the World Press Conference in Abuja on Tuesday to draw attention to the ploy used by the foreign entrepreneurs to eliminate Africans. With the high rate of GMO-related illnesses and deaths in Nigeria, civil society organizations are raising their voices once again on the need for government and the National Assembly to place a ban on genetically modified foods as well as chemicals used as pesticides for agricultural purposes. The CSOs also accused donor agencies of complicit, complicity in this plot to reduce Niger or Africa's population as many suffer and die from ailments ranging from kidney and liver disease after long-term ingesting chemicals from this farm produce. Professor Chris Tiberg Amoa in his presentation explained further how consuming GMOs can impact negatively on the health of people, contrary to reports by donor agencies that it is safe for humans. The current acceptable daily intake, which is known as ADI, and the chronic reference dose, which is known as CRFD, are far, far, far above the scientifically established safety links for this chemical. All of these figures are far, 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 ten times above the, record, the, safe, the established safety limit for these chemicals. And research, these researchers have found that what we see in foods, even food stock, food products on the shelf, contain this chemical in amounts higher than these figures. They produce this, send it to the market, but there is no composition, fractional composition of what is in this on the, on the, on the level. You can, you can take a picture of it and make your story. There is no compositional analysis. But in what we know is that most of it, the highest composition of glyphosate is 56 percent. Major consequences that have arisen from the impact of GMO in uh, most countries today is food security and resources. Persons took time to explain the causative factors that have led to such issues, which range from land degradation, insecurity, climate change, desertification, deforestation and illegal mining, among others. The discussion of GMO um, and concerns, it's not just um, about biology, it's also about our food sovereignty. It's also our rights, right to exist, right to safety, right to life. For the fact that chemicals came before the GMOs, it's not an accident. A lot of countries have used chemical pesticides, a lot of them are already using GMO before it landed at our doorstep. So what came first in Nigeria? The chemicals. Our land size, for agricultural farm sizes, um, were having large degradation and they are shrinking. And what's causing them to shrink? Number one, violence and conflict, insecurity. Farmers can no longer farm. You can no longer go to your farm because you have to deal with you know, your harvest eaten up by cattle. Climate change is here. It's here to stay. We're trying to mitigate and adapt. So we're seeing lots of flood. We're seeing lots of erosion. We're seeing desertification. You cannot tell us that it is safe. Let us decide for ourselves and let's present these things to other African Nigerians that these things are safe. If they roll it out, that means each time you eat those things, you are vaccinating yourself. You're not aware of what you're eating, you're just eating and vaccinating. Will it be labeled? No. Did you have a choice of what you ate? Do you know whether what you ate is genetically modified or not? How do you take the rights of Nigerians? You're giving people to eat what they don't know. And we ask questions and you're not answering. We are really asking our government, do we think we are dumping grounds? How can we, the giant of Africa, just eat? anybody can just eat anything and get away with it? This cannot happen in Burkina, this cannot happen in Kenya, this cannot happen in Tanzania, and everything that is happening. How many GMOs have been? What risk assessment? Our lives, don't our lives matter? GMOs, as I said, are meant for animal people in most of these countries, and they are not accepted. And we want NAMA to publish your risk assessment. Let it be known that this is what you do, because as far as I'm concerned, you are just issuing permits, you are just more or less a developer and a promoter and not a... Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.